What is going on everybody? Bows Phoenix here and welcome to Sniper Elite 3. So I was basically given this game from a viewer during the Steam Thanksgiving sale and I wanted to check it out. I really liked the second one. I never beat it, but there was a lot of things that I really liked. It's got realistic bullet drop and you got to account for the wind and everything like that. It's it's like a sniper simulator with a story and the second one was really cool. And I've always wanted to play this game, but for some reason or another, I never got around to checking it out. Let's hop into this game. We'll see what it's like. I wanted to play through it with you guys. I know it's pretty short, and uh, we'll see what you think. If you like this, we'll do more of it. If not, then we'll just forget that I ever did this. So let's start over, play through the first mission again, which is probably a good idea because I really sucked on the first one. So we're going to play Sniper Elite, which is the second hardest difficulty. Got the realistic bullet drop, everything like that, and uh, you guys can watch this exposition. Their supply lines for food and raw materials are crippled. The Suez Canal is a lifeline, connecting Britain with its empire and Middle Eastern oil, making the war in North Africa crucial. As the British and Axis armies face each other across the Libyan-Egypt border, the front line swings like a pendulum across the western desert, a harsh, unforgiving strip of land between the Mediterranean and the Sahara. Mechanized warfare has come of age. Here, tanks are king. I've arrived in Tobruk off a boat filled with replacements and reinforcements. Young men blindly rushing to their deaths. None of them are comfortable having someone like me around. Suits me fine. Most of them won't make it out of here alive. Rommel was kicked out during Operation Crusader. But Axis forces are once again sweeping across the western desert. The Gazala gallop began with the Allied retreat, and Rommel is at the city's throat. There is no time for tactics. 35,000 of us have one order. Hold to Brook. Alright, so we got a lot more exposition than we usually get in like a World War II game. I think that's kind of cool. They set the story up for us. Some of the textures look really good, but some of the characters' faces look really last gen. I'm, I don't know if you guys can see that too, but no, there's a lot of detail in the environments though. Like everything looks really good. It's a really pretty game. I forget how old it is. I think it's only, it's not even a year old yet from what I understand. I think it's maybe a year old. I don't remember exactly. All right, let's snipe these dudes. All right, when your heart rate's under 80, you can steady your aim. AKA cheat mode, bullet time. So this kind of tells you where you're going to shoot to. So that's gonna, that's probably gonna be a headshot. But did you see like when I shot, it wasn't exactly with the crosshair. It was a little to the side. There's a little bit of wind going on. Bam, right to the forehead. Brambled egg brains. Cool, that guy's down. All right, let's see if we can get this guy without doing the bullshit. A little bit of wind. Oh! God, that is so satisfying! When you line up your shot, and then you get the badass kill cam like this, and you know it's going to be something awesome. What is this? Another forehead shot. Damn. Oh, that's kind of like in the top of the head, but... Damn, it's crazy. I like how it ricochets inside the skull, too. It doesn't go straight through, like... The bullet gets all fucked up when it comes out the other side. That's awesome. All right, so what are we doing here? Get to that area. Get out of crouch. Oh, cool. He stumbles when he hits from a, hall, a fall, like a, a long fall. All right, that guy got wrecked. There's one more spotter up there. Okay. No wind. How far away is he? He's 102 meters. Did 
Shooting upwards is a lot harder than shooting down. That's not a headshot. That's like through the chest. And the arm? That wouldn't kill you. His arm is completely shattered, though. That wouldn't kill you, would it? I don't know. I mean, maybe you'd bleed out. Like, you're going to lose that arm for sure. All right, now we got to kill a truck. Destroy vehicles shooting in weak spots. Tag these... Tag vehicles. How do you tag, though? It doesn't say how to tag. Oh, by pressing B. I gotcha. All right, so I tag that. The B for binoculars. This one. Gotcha. Look at that gas tank. It's so hard to see. There we go, right there. Bam! Done. All right, so I'm kind of cheating using the bullet time thing, but I'm trying to get used to how the game works, how the physics work in it. Then from there, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Oh look, you got hurt in the tutorial. Let's teach you how to heal yourself. Oh, your ears ring and everything. That's kind of Germans cool. are using Neville Burpers. I need to do something about them. He doesn't sound like a white dude. He sounds... He, I don't know what he sounds like, but he doesn't sound like a white dude. He doesn't sound like he looks. Let's say that. But his voice, his voice actor does sound really badass. Yep. Kind of cool. I'll probably never use that. Ever. There are some games you use maps in, and then some you really don't. All right, I already played through this little part, so I kind of know how it's going to play out. I'm going to try to do it better than I did in the last one. Volumetric lighting, though. Nice. The god rays. The approach if I crouch. Crash to be... Got it. Eat a stabby stabby. Right through the fucking throat, man. Jesus. Oh, he just broke his neck. All right. If you have a knife, like, why would you bother? Besides for awesome looking video game kill cam stuff. Oh, this guy got stuff. I like how searching actually takes a few seconds, too. Like, that's kind of cool. So you can't just, like, kill and press E and you got everything on their body. Use a well rod to kill silently at close range. Equip it from the radio menu. Only headshots kill instantly. I like that. I love games with radio menus that are easily accessible. Big plus for me. All right, so this is their awareness, I guess. Boink. This thing is like the least satisfying weapon on the planet. I don't feel like it feels like a BB gun. The little rod, uh, Nebel Nebelwerfer, through here. I don't want to kill these guys. All right. Shit. All right, I'm fucking up. God damn it. There, I don't know. I couldn't figure out how to switch to the damn weapon I wanted. Let's heal, because that ringing in my ears is ridiculous. I like how I shoot the dude in the arm from like a million miles away, but I shoot that guy in the, and it kills him, but I shoot that guy in the chest, and he just stumbles backwards at like 10 yards. Ridiculous. The white, right weapon out here. Oh, look at that, alternate paths. Oh, his buddy's turned around, so he's not even going to see that. Awesome. Right at the base of the neck. One crew behind me. Sort of. 
You gotta get like really fucking close to shoot these guys with this gun. Sometimes they're loud enough to mask your stuff. That's like the second game that had that mechanic too. Oh my god! I like how the bullet kind of moves in real time, but the guy just kind of stands there. It's destroyed. Awesome. Alright, I don't think anybody heard that. Or maybe that's what my mini-map is telling me with the yellow. They're suspicious. Like, why would they immediately be like, oh my god, somebody's here! Like, there's it's a war zone! There's gunshots everywhere! I just don't understand why they'd immediately zoom in on me and be like, hey, what the hell, dude? That guy all the way up there. I can hit him from... Oh, it does tell you the wind, so you get a little bit of a windage. Right, let's take a chance. Oh, and it worked! I was hoping that was right. Perfect! Fucking beautiful. 43 meters. Not bad. The guys up there on that hill. Oh, they're behind those sandbags, probably. Place timer with F or use F to hold and throw. Shooter place near flint and steel. Detonate on timer. Alright, this guy's suspicious. Let's see if we can sneak up to him and take him out without getting spotted. No, 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 no. Jeez. Fucking clueless. Yeah, note to self, that thing is really hard to aim. This lighting is amazing, though. Good quality lighting can make a huge difference. You guys were suspicious. Shit. Little pistol's harder to use than the sniper rifle is. Kind of the point. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. Alright, that's one crew. I'm pretty sure these other dudes are going to be suspicious now. Alright, let's move a little quicker. Oh, they've got it. They've even got like explosive barrels and shit. Like, come on, man. I hate when they put enticing loud options in a stealth game because it's like, man, I almost feel inclined to use that. Guys, okay, we're suspicious. Not any. Come on. Uh, looks like we're gonna have to well rod this guy. Or maybe we can get close enough to. I don't know. That guy's gonna see me! There's no good vantage point. Like, what am I supposed to get to to shoot both of all these guys? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Is there a way to attract enemies? That would be really nice. <laughs> and this is the second hardest difficulty thing. Scheiße. Du bist ein Scheiße Kopf. Alright, this guy's getting the sniper rifle. Boink. Finger of death. Poke him from a distance. That's got to be the most randomly placed bomb I've ever seen. Oh, it created a bridge. I might as well check the bridge. That's so insanely random, though. I mean, come on. Like, why? There's nothing up there. What's the point of dropping a bomb on that fucking rock table like that? There's no way they could have known. Like, oh yeah, if we drop it here, it'll create this bridge. Jump across gaps. All right. Hey, 
And that's the intro to the game. Not bad. It's really strangely paced for an intro like that. I don't know why they'd be like, all right, do all the stuff. Oh, now's our intro. Cool. Like, you give a 40 minutes of gameplay or 20 minutes of gameplay or whatever. That's very strange, but cool game overall. I'm digging it so far. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I think we're going to go ahead and stop there because I think that's the end of the first chapter and there's only like nine of them. So uh, maybe if you guys like this, we can finish this game, get through it together, and hopefully my skills as a sniper improve over the time that we play it. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you want me to continue this. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you're new here. I put out new gaming content all the time. Also, if you like cooking, I've got a cooking channel too that I'm just starting up. So go ahead and check that out as well. I'll put the link in the description below. But thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I'm Bows Phoenix, and I will see you at the next episode. Peace out, everybody.